Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire eyeshadow palette collection as well as showing you some that I will be letting go of as hard as that is for me. So if you want to see my entire eyeshadow palette collection and which ones I want to get rid of, then just keep watching. You guys won't really be able to see me, but I figured this is the easiest way for me to do it and I'm going to show you one by one all my palettes and I'm just going to briefly show you the inside so this doesn't end up being a million years long. So some of these are going to be very new to me and you will have already seen them on my channel and some of these I've had a while. So first I have the Tartist Pro palette. I got this as a gift. Um, for Christmas one year. I have not really used it that much. I've used it a few times and I am going to hold on to it because I do like these from the few times that I did use it. Next I have the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. Um, this is no longer available. I was going to declutter it actually because I just don't reach for it that much but then when I got to thinking about it I wanted to give it another try, play around with it some more and keep it for a little bit longer before I decide to just fully part with it. Plus you can't get it anymore so that's another reason why I really want to be sure in my decision. Next we have Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. This is relatively new to me. I have featured it. Actually my first YouTube video was a look using this palette. I really do enjoy it. I definitely need to dive into it more but I really do like this and this is not going anywhere from my collection. Probably ever. <laughs> then I have the Dose of Colors and uh, Desi X Katie Friendcation palette. I absolutely love this. I have used every single shade in this palette to create a look. This palette is so amazing. I love it. I am not getting rid of it. Next I have the Kylie Cosmetics Sipping Pretty palette. This is from her 21st birthday collection. I actually really do enjoy this palette. I've done a few looks with it um, off camera and I really do like it. I need to get into it a little more but I do like this. When I say this is like the best formula I've ever used, definitely not, but I do like it and this is my first Kylie Cosmetics palette and my only palette from her but I was pleasantly surprised. Then we have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is one of the first high-end palettes that I ever got. It was, it's in my project pan, but I'm going to give you a little spoiler. It has been so hard for me to reach for this. I just, I don't reach for it as much as I did when I first got it. I have so many palettes. I am going to hold on to it because it is, for one, in my project pan, and for two, it does hold sentimental value to me. And it is not a bad palette. I just, I don't know, I need to try to really force myself to play with it more. Then I have the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Also another one I used a ton when I first got it. One of the first few palettes I ever got. Um, I just don't really reach for it as much now. But there's definitely nothing wrong with this palette so I am going to keep it. Now I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. Again, this one was a lot harder to get myself to use when I first got it compared to the others. Um, I don't know why. I'm just not, I don't know. I love the packaging though. I mean, look at all the hearts. It's so cute and my boyfriend got me this, so I will be keeping it and I do want to try to force myself to use it more as well. And now I have the Too, pa Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I got this as a gift as well um, for Christmas one year, the year it came out, and I really do like it. Um, I need to force myself to use it more again. I don't know why I just don't reach for my Too Faced palettes as much anymore now that I have tried so many other palettes, um, but I definitely will not be getting rid of this. I really do like it. Next we have the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette. Um, I'm just going to declutter this honestly because I have so many shades that I have, you know, that are similar in my collection and I don't really need to hang on to this. It's not a bad formula. I did like it the few times I used it, but I just have so many shades that are similar and other palettes that I want to reach for more, so I'm going to be posting this to my Poshmark, which all of this that I'm decluttering will already be posted um, to my Poshmark, but that one is going in the declutter pile. And now we have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette, which it has been a struggle for me to decide on whether I want to keep it or get rid of it, but I have ultimately decided, I think, to just part with it. Um, it's I've only used like two shades out of this palette, so it's like, I'm not reaching for it. I got it a year ago at this point, I think, um, and it's an all shimmer palette pretty much. There's a couple mattes, but I just... I don't know, I just don't reach for it so there's no point in hanging on to it when I have so many other shimmers that I use instead. 
Next, I have my beloved Urban Decay Naked palette, the original one. I absolutely love this. I will not be getting rid of it, especially now that they are discontinuing it. Um, this is another one of the first palettes I ever got. It was basically Urban Decay and Too Faced. That's where I started, and then now I've expanded into other brands. But I will not be parting with this. This palette is just so easy for me to go in, throw on a quick look, and go on with my day. Next, we have the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Now I will say this one I have not used nearly as much as the Naked. Um, I do I don't find anything wrong with it. I just I don't know. I find it hard to reach for a lot of times. Like if you look, it's just kind of it's very neutral. I mean it's just very neutral. Um, I will be keeping it though because again some of the first palettes I ever gotten and I do need to play with it more. Next we have Anastasia Norvina. Now as much as it pains me to say this, I am going to post this and get rid of it. I'm decluttering it. I never reached for it. When I first used it, I was just pretty underwhelmed. Not that there's anything really wrong with the quality because I think all her palettes are pretty good. It's just, I just don't ever reach for this. And even when I first started using it, I just was like, eh, it's okay, you know? So I am just going to declutter this. There's no point in hoarding palettes. Then we have Anastasia Subculture Palette, and again, this palette had a lot of controversy. Um, it was a little bit more difficult to work with, but I wouldn't say that it's not usable whatsoever. I just don't ever reach for this. I don't know. The, it's just not something I gravitate towards, so honestly, I'm just going to declutter it. And then we have Anastasia Prism Palette. Again, nothing really wrong with it. I just don't ever reach for it. It's beautiful, but it just doesn't do much for me, so going to declutter it. And just so you guys know, um, I did kind of decide what I think I want to declutter before this, but you know, as I go, I'm kind of also thinking about it. Next, I have the Urban Decay Naked 3. My, probably my second, I would say the Naked and this one are tied. I absolutely love this palette, especially if you want just like a soft, girly, like date night eyeshadow look. I love this. Um, there's actually a tutorial from Allison Henry using this palette from a while back that I always gravitate towards back to now. Like whenever I need to just go in and I know that something's going to work, I go for that look that she created. I'll try to find her video and link it below so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but absolutely love this palette and it's not going anywhere from my collection. Then we have the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. Another one I have not reached for that much. Um, I do actually have a video idea that I'm going to do with this palette and another palette, so you'll have to stay tuned for that, but I'm going to hold on to this for now and try to play with it more and see if I eventually will decide to get rid of it. Then I have, this is not really a palette, but it's in a palette. It's four single shadows from Anastasia. Definitely will be keeping these. I really do like these shades, so I will be keeping this. And lastly, for the Urban Decay Smoky line, I have the Naked. And another one that I really love, especially when I want to do like a dark smoky eye, I actually use this palette to create a very dark smoky eye for my the Taylor Swift concert I went to a few months ago. I tried to recreate like her, you know, dark grungy smoky eye and this was perfect for it. Absolutely love this palette as well. Then we have Anastasia Sultry palette. This is new to her collection and I freaking love this. This is amazing. This is probably, honestly, I want to say it's taken the number one spot for me as far as Anastasia palettes go. It's pretty, it's pretty much a toss up between this soft glam and modern renaissance, but I really have been enjoying this and I can't wait to play with it more. Then we have Anastasia soft glam. It's very easy to create looks with this, especially everyday looks, so I will be holding on to this. Then we have Marn Renaissance, and this one is a little bit if you want some more of those like berry tones. Um, a few of the shades do repeat between this and Soft Glam, but I will definitely be holding on to both because I really enjoy these. I just recently did a collab video with my friend Kayla here on YouTube, so I'll link that one below too in case you're interested. Then I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I have videos on these on my channel, and I have some blog posts uh, on them as well. So here is the first one, which is Bling Boss. Then we have Armed and Gorgeous. Dark Magic. And Ring the Alarm, which this one is my favorite of the four. I will be holding on to all of these because I do enjoy them, even though I like the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original one, better. Um, I will definitely be holding on to these because I think they're a great, um, affordable option and you get four different color schemes. So I'll be keeping that. 
Then we have the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Zodiac palette. I definitely need to get into this more, but I do like the formula. Um, I did like the looks that I created with it when I was using it more. Since I've gotten so many palettes recently, it's so hard to go back and use some of my older ones. But that is going to be coming to a change, which I will be talking about in a future video. Um, I'm not going to be buying as much makeup as I did over the last few years, but I'm going to go into depth, um, in depth with that in a future video, so just stay tuned for that. But I will be holding on to this. I mean, look at this shade. So pretty. Then we have the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and for some reason, as far as colorful palettes go, I just absolutely love this. Um... It was one of the first few, like, actually I think this was probably the first, like, super colorful palette that I got because I wanted to use it for a festival and I saw a look that Jaclyn Hill did with it from ages ago, um, especially at this point, and I just really loved it and I really like this palette for creating fun, you know, bright colored looks. I think this is awesome and I will not be letting go of this, especially since it's discontinued. Then we have this MAC Cool Neutral palette. Um, honestly, this just... I think I used it like once or twice and the, I don't know, MAC shadows really don't do it for me anymore. Back in the day, I was like diehard MAC shadows, but now I just, I don't know, I have other palettes that I like better and this is kind of just boring to look at in my opinion, so I have it posted for sale. Then I have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. This is another super colorful palette and the main reason I got this was to supplement with the Electric Palette. Um, so I am going to hold on to this. I haven't really used it too much because it's not often that I use these kinds of shades. But I'm going to play around with it more before I fully decide to let it go or not. Um, but for now I will be keeping. Then we have the Sephora Pro Palette. This is the Warm Palette. And you know, I really was liking this when I first got it. But honestly, I think I'm going to try to play with it like one more time and see if I want to keep it, but I might be letting this go. So this is a maybe. I will, you know, I don't know. The problem is I do like the shades and it is nice if you need to just dip into some neutral shades. But I do remember some of these being a little difficult to work with. So like I said, I need to test it again before I fully make my decision. But so far, this is definitely leaning towards um, a declutter. Next, I have the Violet Voss Pro Palette. I did a video on this palette on my channel as well. And, you know, I was super excited about this when I got it. And after playing with it, I liked the look I created. I liked how the shadows performed. But I just don't have that desire to reach for this. So I really need to force myself to use this more. Um, so I am going to keep it, but I just need to get myself into it more. I don't know why, I just never have the desire to go for this. Even though I liked the shadows and I liked the look I created, it's so weird. But yeah, I'm going to hold on to this. Then we have the Jaclyn Hill palette, another one I will definitely be keeping. I really like this one a lot. Um, I just love the different color tones that you have in it, and I do think that this one, for some reason, performs a little better than the Vault, even though I still like the Vault palettes, and I find nothing wrong with those. Sometimes you just have to work with them a little more, but I absolutely love this palette, and I will be keeping it. Again, I need to dip into it more. <laughs> Next we have a palette I have not even used yet and you saw in a recent haul. I got this one gifted to me and this is the Natasha Denona Star Palette. I cannot wait to dive into this. I have just been waiting because I want to do videos on all these palettes and I'm only one person. I can only wear so much makeup so um, I will be holding on to this and you will see it in a future video. Next I have the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Another one I have not used yet because I want to use it in a video. But these shadows are perfect and very warm and I like the way they look. I think this palette will be good. Um, so I'm going to hold on to it obviously because I haven't even tested it yet. Now this is not to say that this might not be going back. I have to test it. Um, you'll see why I say that in a minute. Next I have the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. That is actually the palette I have on my eyes in this video that you saw in the intro. You will be seeing a tutorial and first impressions with, on this, but I believe you'll be seeing this video first. So stay tuned for that. This is really pretty and so far I am liking it. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Then I have the also new to me Natasha Denona Safari palette. Um, I did a video using this one in the Lila palette. I only used a couple shadows out of this, so I need to continue to play with it. But I did like the two shades I used. I just need to dive into this more before I say for sure if I like it and for sure if I want to keep it. We have the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now, this was the main focus in the video I just did. Um, honestly, I have been really thinking on this palette lately. 
and I do need to play with it just a little more before I decide, but I'm almost leaning towards returning this one. I know, it's so beautiful and I was so excited about it. Again, I need to play with it a little more, but I don't know, it just doesn't really call to me and for the price, I want it to be something I want to reach for all the time, or at least I'm going to get a lot of use out of. Um, I, like I said, it's not a definite return. I will update you guys on everything that I got in that haul, including this palette, um, but as of right now, it is on the fence. Then we have the Jeffree Star Alien palette, a new to me palette, new to the market really, and so far I've really been enjoying this and I will definitely be keeping this. Mainly, I mean, even if I hated the shadows, I would literally keep this just for the packaging alone, but the shadows are good, so that is a nice perk. <laughs> Then we have the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, and so far this is my favorite out of the ones that I've tested. I will not be returning this. I love this palette. It is definitely my kind of palette. Um, super easy to throw on a quick look, or you can even do something more dramatic. I did do a tutorial using this on my channel as well, if you want to check that out. So I will definitely be keeping this one. Then I actually have two of the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palettes. This one is totally unopened and this one is the one that I've used. I mean I have made quite a dent in this shade which is crazy because I have so many palettes so you know I really like that. Um, I absolutely love 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 this palette so much that I had bought a backup but I am I think going to just sell this backup because it's brand new. Um, I had bought the backup because I wasn't sure if they were keeping this as a permanent thing but I do see they still have it on their site so there's no need for me to hold on to this when I'm probably never going to get through this whole palette and if I do and they don't have it anymore at least I got to enjoy it while you know while I had it um, I highly recommend this I mean it's super affordable great quality I love this so I'm gonna keep the one I've been using and probably just sell the one that is brand new and lastly which is brand new to me. I just picked this up and this is the Morphe James Charles palette. It literally still has the plastic in it because I have not even touched it. I will be doing a video on this. I want to do like a first impressions probably. Um, you know it's funny, I originally was not drawn to this because I really don't watch James's channel and you know nothing against him or anything. I just don't usually watch his videos so I really wasn't like on the radar for this or like super jumping to have it but after a couple videos that I saw, I decided I really did want it. I mean, it has literally everything. I mean, he really did put everything in this palette. So I really can't wait to try this out. And the formula does seem pretty good based on the videos I've seen. So I'm super, super excited about that. And that is the last palette. Alright guys, so that is it for my entire eyeshadow palette collection. I counted them and I have 44 palettes and I'm actually getting rid of 7 of those. Um, I know that is not a lot, but I just have such a hard time getting rid of um, you know, makeup that I've spent money on or makeup that I've gotten gifted to me. And I do love all the ones that I'm keeping. A couple were on the fence. Um, Again, I will update you guys always in later videos, probably even do another declutter later on down the road, but um, 7 is pretty good for me, and I have gotten rid of other palettes like over the course of owning makeup. Um, it's not like I've been, I've had these for 10 years and I'm only getting rid of 7, you know. I've gotten rid of some others as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I personally love watching palette declutters especially, but um, declutters in general. I do want to go through, um, also I want to do like my lipstick collection because that is another big one. And I eventually want to go through maybe my whole makeup collection and maybe do some decluttering and showing you guys what I have if you guys would be interested in that. But yeah, that completes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.